Hi guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot. I am doing your October 2018 soulmate reading. Um, Taurian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, North Node. Um, before I begin, let me just make my little announcements. I am accepting new clients on Instango. I'm answering questions for $10. I'm also taking um, clients for private readings. I'm running a special um, for Venus retrograde in um, Scorpio. It's a $25 special. Get a detailed video re reading similar to my soulmate readings on YouTube for $25. I will answer one question of your choice and I will also tie in what to expect during this um, retrograde um, within the next six weeks, okay? I am on Patreon. Please become a patron to get um, access to private videos and extended readings. Um, also, um, this is a general reading, you guys. Okay, so it may not resonate. Okay, so I'm, I am reading for the whole collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, North Node. So it may not resonate this time. Um, please take what resonates with you. The energies. Um, are interchangeable. So some some of the things that may come up, um, I may say your partner's doing something or your partner feels a certain way or vice versa. Um, just know that the energies do flip-flop, okay? Thank you so much for um, joining me today. Thank you for watching my videos, you guys. I appreciate you guys. Um, the support, the comments. Thank you so much for the love. Um, and um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay, um, be um, one of my followers or subscribers rather. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. Okay, um, so let's get started with your reading. I want to go ahead and start off the reading with the oracle message. Um, I will be clarifying with uh, the um, with my Centennial um, Smith Wade Tarot deck and. Um, the oracle cards I'm using today is the Energy Oracle um, by Sandra Ann Taylor. I'm just going to pick one card or whatever comes out for your oracle message. And then I'm going to tell you what your challenge is and then we're going to break this reading um, down. This is a, a Celtic Cross. It's modified with my nine card spread. So same Celtic Cross format. The corner cards are cards um, position seven, eight nine and ten which is the final outcome here and I still will read in my normal way um, just to kind of give you some deeper uh, layers of information in regards to your soulmate connection but let's see what we get for the Oracle message for Torian okay Torian women woman holding a heart is your message card number 44 I like to look at the bottom of the the deck and I got door to value yay I like that door to value I'm not um, I'm gonna read this from the book um, I, I don't usually get this particular card card number 44 um, the woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands for a woman this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptivity, um, receptivity for love. Why can't I read? <laughs> or it might be a message that your family issues are going to going to be resolved. You are intuitive, and you understand the emotions of life, and you're bringing that awareness to all you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who's here to help with issues of love family or emotion. This is an even temper caring person who resonates with you in your emotions. This could also portend a new love interest or friend coming your way. Okay. So I'm taking this as a new love interest. This may be a woman or a man. Okay. If you're watching uh, for my male watchers, um, also for my cross watchers. Okay. Or this could be some friend helping you with your emotional issues. I kind of feel like just with the imagery of this card, when they talked about being receptive, I feel like you're now a little bit open now to receiving love, whereas you were more guarded, okay? 
you're showing your heart and you're saying, you know what, <laughs> I'm open for business for some of you guys, okay? Um, the door to value is, um, you know, abundance. Not only financial abundance for me, I feel like you're feeling more abundant um, in your life. Um, you know, this is a door. This is like saying, not, you know, there's a, this is a door that you're afraid to knock on and open. And you're finally opening this door because you want better for yourself, Taurus. Um, this card, um, you know, talks about the potential for exciting new beginnings and expansions where work or money are concerned. So these are new opportunities that are totally unexpected, okay, that will be presented to you. Or this could be something you've been working towards, okay? Um, either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life. Know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door. Um, since this is a soulmate reading, I feel like this is a new opportunity to love. That's going to bring you a lot of abundance. That's going to be bring a lot of value to your life, okay? Um, so there will be somebody coming in, okay? This person could come in and help you, um, you know, uh, on some creative endeavor, okay? But either way, there will be something coming in, and it's going to be an opportunity for a brand new beginning, an exciting new beginning, okay? I like that. For the Oracle message, thank you. And let's talk about the challenge um, for you guys. So the challenge is going to be, I'm going to be using a Steven Universe. This is just the major arcanas. And let's see, ooh, Butterfingers, okay. The Hangman, oh, that's too many cards. Too many cards, you guys. Messing up my little layout. <laughs> so let's do that again. But it's a challenge for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Okay, they gave me three cards. The Sun, wow, the High Priestess and the Magician. I like this for you guys. Um, wow, we have a one, two, and a one. Okay. This is about, your challenge is about staying positive, staying optimistic, okay? Having a positive outlook, being courageous, having willpower. The sun is, uh, for me, the, the sun energy represents uh, Leo. I keep thinking of Leo, being fierce, being fearless, okay? Um, standing in your power. But ultimately, this is you, you know, getting ready for a new beginning, getting ready for positive energies coming into your life, okay? But you need to stay positive to be able to receive these um, positive energies. This is also you keeping your thoughts positive so that you can manifest positive things into your life. Um, the high priestess is you needing to trust your intuition, okay? In order to make very good decisions moving forward in the month of October, needing to make positive decisions, needing to stay balanced, okay? Finding your equilibrium here in the ma magician. Using your intuition and your positive, positive thinking, okay, to manifest what it is you want this month, October 2018, these are beautiful, okay? New beginnings, a one, new beginning, new beginning, and there will be balance coming into your life, okay? So absolutely beautiful, so the challenge is Making sure you listen to your intuition, making sure that you stay positive, okay? And to be um, in a state of manifestation, you need to make sure you're watching your thoughts. You need to make sure you're putting in the work, okay? The magician is powerful. The magician is confident. And the, the magician knows exactly what he wants, okay? So before I started this reading, I um, sprayed my alchemy Energy clearing smudge spray to set the mood. This is the um, sweet sacred sage. Um, it smells really good. You can get this at um, candleswithpurpose.com. I did a review. Check it out. Okay, let's get started. Oh, I love the way that smells. All right, so the energy is cleared. We got the challenge. We have the oracle message for you guys. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a good month. Um, I was a little concerned about the um, outcome because it is the magician in the reverse, and that's why I think the magician came up as your challenge card, okay? 
Um, so let's get started with your Celtic Cross reading. Okay, and I will be um, clarifying with the Centennial. Um, the bottom of the deck energy we have is this Two of Swords. Again, needing to find your equilibrium, needing to find that balance um, that the High Priestess um, presented as a challenge. Um, and also needing to make good decisions. You need to trust your intuition so you can make good decisions. Okay, so your overall energy is right now you're, you're stuck trying to make a decision or needing to make a decision. Um, or you're reached a stalemate in, a, in your soulmate relationship, okay? Um, so the heart of the matter is keeping the hope, keeping faith. Um, a lot of you guys are very hopeful, which is good. It's very positive, um, you know, and I feel like it, I, it could go both ways for some of you guys. I'm picking up hopeless, came up, came in my mind, you know, hopeless, feeling hopeless, um, but I think a lot of you guys are focusing on healing and balancing yourselves out. A lot of you guys are into metaphysical, um, um, practices, modalities. I feel like a lot of you guys are, um, actually working with water. Some of you guys are working with water. You're programming your water. You're using copper to program copper uh, cups, bowls, um, a lot of you guys are looking into chakra healing, listening to music to heal the chakras, okay? So you guys are listening to binaural beats, meditation music specifically designed to heal the heart chakra. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are more vulnerable, okay? This month, October, you you know, we're already seven days in. So it's been, we're in the first week of October and I feel like you guys have been very vulnerable. Um, but ultimately, you guys are making progress as far as it um, it pertains to your healing. With the um, number eight, with the star card here, talks about expansion. And eight is a very significant number because it represents movement. It also represents power. It also represents karma. Okay, so there is a karmic cleansing coming in here um, for you guys. And I feel like when I see the star, I think about the universe. Okay. So something is major is going to happen. Your your heart of the matter is a major arcana, and I feel like the in the universe is intervening here for the month of October. You guys made a wish, and the universe is about to grant you guys that wish. Okay, so that's why a lot of you guys are very hopeful, um, and that wish is pertaining to a love interest. But what's crossing you is the tower, you guys. Um, why is a tower crossed it? A beautiful Taurians. Okay. Now, for me, I feel like there needs to be some type of change, okay? As we see, there is a challenge of being able to manifest. And I think a lot of the, uh, the, the main reason for you guys, as far as manifesting or as far as being in a stable relationship where you feel like there is equality and there's a balance, is the fact that um, a lot of you guys are afraid of making certain changes. You guys are a fixed sign. And you guys don't like change too much. You guys don't like to budge a little, you know, too much um, when it comes to um, getting out of your comfort zone. So I feel like the tower in reverse is also letting me know some of you guys have settled in the past or some of you guys are settling or feel like you're settling in a situation. Um, a lot of you guys are not really happy with the way things are going in a, a relationship and you want and desire uh, some type of change. And you know that there needs to be some type of shakeup in order to get this relationship moving in a direction that suits you or that you feel comfortable with, okay? Um, Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy. Some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Scorpio. The heart of a matter is Aquarius, okay? Um, so that could be very significant for some of you guys. Um, the tower is seven, and I feel like seven it, it correlates to the house of the seventh house, which is the house of one-on-one -on -one partnerships and relationships. And I feel like the focal point is this relationship. This relationship can be, or this soulmate relationship that some of you guys are going through, can be um, very distracting to some of you guys. And it's causing you to lose your balance um, because 
some of you guys are experiencing some emotional upset as it pertains to this because again this is your challenge here um, so there could be some distress um, I kind of feel like a lot of it is self-sabotage here okay because again this is a resistance to change you know traditionally um, the crossing card is always read in the upright for me I feel like there is an energy of res uh, resisting of change or resisting of a separation or a severing of something. Um, there could be some deception. Um, and, I, and again, I feel some type of oppression or depression. Okay. This could also mean that there are some unwelcome changes or un unwelcome events showing up in your life right now as it pertains to the soulmate union. That's making you feel very uncomfortable because in the now, in the present here, um, the fundamental of the matter um, this is you we have you feeling this energy which is the five of cups here and as you can see you're crying over spilled milk and you're not seeing these two cups behind you okay um, this is letting me know that there's a lot of emotional baggage here um, let's clarify that card oh wow already yeah so four of cups is being presented reversed um, there's a situation, like I said, some of you guys are in this uh, relationship um, with someone, and this could be a marriage, this could be just a, a, a partnership, or this could be a situationship, or something that involves someone that you are in love with or have a romantic um, connection with, where you had to take some time out from this person, or this person has isolated themselves from you. Um, to make a decision here again we have scales we have the balance being presented again here with the justice card this is 11 and that reduces to a 2 once again so the underlying energy here the 2 twos denote a period of waiting and gestation as well so again this 4 of um, cups character here sitting on this tree um, is going to be emerging from their isolation or their period of um, introspection rather or introspection um, or retrospection but they're going to emerge with a decision okay with the number five the fifth house um, correlates to um, your romantic partnerships um, and creative expression, okay? And I feel like with the fives being a, a five showing up here, this is a challenge, okay? This challenge here is to let go of something that no longer serves you, Torian. In the past here, there was a, a lack of um, confidence. Um, you, probably, you may have felt a little weak as, as it pertains to uh, uh, this relationship with your soulmate. Um, this could be cross-watcher or um, Torian. I feel like with the star being presented next, I'm sorry, the star being presented next to the strength, yes, um, in reverse, this is why the hope is here. Because you felt so weak, you felt out of control, okay? You felt like you were being taken advantage of. I also feel like you need, there was an energy of you needing to tame yourself in some sort of way, okay? Or you were taming yourself to fit um, a, a, some type of expectation of you, I feel. I mean, that's an eight. That's because there was no progress. I think the weakness was because there was no progress. So this is you not being able to move forward or move, or just, you know, just feeling like you were stuck here because there was some type of fear holding you back here. Again, another eight. Holding you back from expanding. Some of you guys were experiencing a, a financial issues. And you know, Taurians are really big on, you know, money. Because your ruler is Venus. And Venus is the ruler of money. You know, finer things in life. And um, I think there was a lack of confidence because some of you guys were having money problems. Okay, that was affecting your confidence. And you didn't want to come towards someone, or maybe you had issues in a relationship due to money, and you couldn't offer this person the stability that was required. This could be the other way around. This could be the person 
having trouble with money, not being able to offer anything to you, okay? Um, and what's on your mind here, Six of Pentacles, you want fairness. Again, money, money is crowning the reading here. What's on your mind? You're thinking about money. You're thinking about um, providing. There could be an energy of some dominance, you know, you experience in a relationship. Um, so you guys are, are dating someone dominant. You could be the dominant one. Torians, you guys are very fixed in your ways, so you guys can come off very controlling. Um, depending on your emotional growth and maturity, not all Torians are like that, okay? However, this can um, denote some type of power struggle or someone wanting to control the outcome of a relationship or how they want a relationship to go. Um, and that came off as a lack of fairness here, okay? Also, you want a new beginning when it, as it pertains to um, a relationship. You want harmony, and in this new beginning, you want equal give and take, reciprocity, and mutuality here. Um, because six is harmony and balance. Um, and then in your immediate future, clarity, okay? You will have insight and clarity. Um, and this is because you're going to be completely honest with yourself. And you're demanding honesty. And this is you needing, you know, this is you finally cutting out what no longer serves you. This could be old emotions, old friendships, old habits, old ideals. This could just be you holding on to an ex that hurt you in the past. Or this could be you holding on to your current person um, that's being deceptive and you and you know you need to cut them off because they're no longer serving you. They're no longer in alignment with your higher purpose. Okay, so what we have here is the magician, again, being presented in a reverse. Why is that? Manipulation. This is also weakness. I feel like the sword is you standing in your power. Standing in your power and you're cutting away at all the um, barriers, the obstacles, and you're cutting out anything, as stated before, that doesn't serve you anymore. Okay, so in the seven positions here, um, this um, is your doubts and and um. Your doubts, your fears related to the issue. Some people say this is how you see yourself. Um, I feel like with the King of Wands being presented here, you're, again, you know you're needing to be assertive in a situation. You know that you're needing to stand in your power. This is all about confidence here. Whatever you're going through in this soulmate relationship, I feel like with your partner, there is this power struggle or this, there's this energy of you needing to take control, okay? Needing to con take control and being fearful. Not having the confidence here due to emotional issues here. Um, the creative expression is being blocked. We have yellow and we have the orange sacral. This is the sacral or sacral chakra here being highlighted here. And this is where your, your sexual energy, your creative energy is flowing from you. We have the um, solar plexus, the power center. The solar plexus. Okay. The seat of the soul and I feel like it's being blocked you, there is a blockage of um, the way you express yourself here and that's due to the heart chakra also being blocked for some of you guys some of you guys have been hurt multiple times so it's very hard for you to express yourself um, the king of wands very fiery very um, you know, go-getter, he he's, you know, he's enthusiastic, he has a lot of willpower. He doesn't let anything stand in his way. He doesn't give up, he doesn't back down, okay? Um, and this is about confidence for you guys as well. Let me clarify the King of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands, please, for Torian, Sun Rising. Being a stupid or what, you like, no. I feel like this card was trying to show his face. Wanting honesty, truth. Willing to cut away anything that um, 
comes off as deceptive. And again, this is you want to be healed from, again, the heartbreak. Like I said, your heart needs to be open in order to receive what it is that you wish to receive. And you guys have hope that that, that wish of love is coming in for some of you guys. And... You know, and you know that there is, there needs to be a focus of self-love. There needs to be a focus of, just focus on you in order to allow yourself to heal. In the eighth position is how um, others see you or this, your partner, this soulmate or this connection, love interest. And um, they see you as wanting to detach here. Outside influence could be them, the, the person, their devil energy, okay, rubbing off on you. Remember, we pick up people's um, energies, especially if you're living with someone and you're around them all the time. There's a, an a, a unhealthy attachment as it pertains to this person for you guys, Torian. Um, clarify the devil. Devil's being clarified with the hangman reverse self-sabotage, self-sacrifice. Uh, and again, this is that energy of feeling stuck, that energy of um, needing to change, needing to let go, no longer needing to hold on to something, okay? So you're definitely cutting, you're definitely not only cutting away at the delusion that you have created, but you're letting go. Taking yourself off, you know, your perch on a tree, hanging there, and letting life pass you by you're, you're coming down off of that tree and you're ready to take that leap here um, right here is your hopes and your desires your hopes and your desires is this you know a lot of you guys are working on building uh, restructuring or you're building from the ground up there is a relationship that um, ended here because we see here with the ten of swords there was some type of separation that is causing a lack of confidence here. Okay, you're healing through that. And I feel like you guys are, there's some type of uh, re restructuring or you guys are building this relationship up. Or if you guys already have the, or had reconciled, but that makes sense, had reconciled. If you guys already reconciled, okay, don't, don't mind me and my grammar. Um, there is an energy of you building from the ground up. Some of you guys are not choosing to, are choosing not to reconcile at this time. Let's clarify the tower really quick. Clarify the tower card. Why is the tower being presented in the reverse? So the tower is being presented with the hermit, or the tower is being clarified with the hermit. And this is you knowing that you need to go into isolation to seek the answers that you um, need. So that you know how to move forward okay and the final outcome you guys is the magician in a reverse twice and that challenge was the magician being able to manifest being able to stand in your power know your truth speak your truth here ten of cups you guys feel like you can't manifest a, a relationship because you've been through broken relationships in the past look i just flipped this over and i got the eight of cups and this is because you guys were afraid of walking away from something. Some of you guys walked away too soon and not really giving this person a fair chance to show you or give you that, okay? And again, the two of swords. You need to make a decision here to change that. This is the energy that you should encompass. You should encompass this energy here um, some of you guys were dealing with someone very fickle, someone that was not expressing their emotions to you. Let's look at the bottom of the deck here. So we have a new cycle starting for some of you guys, okay, a new beginning. Um, Venus in retrograde is going to bring in the energies. Uh, it's going to cause these um, suppressed emotions and issues that you've been avoiding to surface. This decision that you've been avoiding to make, the decision to cut away something that no longer serves you to start a new cycle, Venus is going to um, um, really put that on the forefront and you're not going to be able to avoid that anymore. Um, it will be time for you to make a decision, okay? Some of, the, some of you will end a relationship too so that you can rebuild it from the ground up.
okay? So you guys need to really open up with to have that new beginning, okay? So open up. Don't hold back. This is you feeling brokenhearted. This is you feeling disappointed in love um, or being disappointed, okay? But you could turn that around here. Again, the fool is being presented here. Just by cutting away what uh, away at what no longer serves you to have this to have your ten of cups, okay? <clears throat> I feel like that's very beautiful for you guys. It's just a question of knowing your worth, okay? Knowing where you stand in a relationship, knowing what you bring to the table. Not accepting nothing less than this, <laughs> or this, or this, okay? And for my fellas, you want a woman like the, the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Cups, someone that's going to shower you and nurture you, okay? So what I'm going to do is... For you Torians, we're going to see um, how your partner feels real quick. Because you know I love y'all. I love my Torians. How does your partner feel? How does your partner feel about you right now? All right. Wow. Ten of Cups reverse. Let's clarify that. All right, so there's some delay. There, there's a delay. If you're waiting for a reconciliation, there will be a delay. Um, and this is because someone, um, again, I keep getting this energy of somebody is unable to make a decision. Um, this is indecision, but this is delay. This is um, postponement. Some of you guys are dealing with someone that lives at a distance. That could be a reason why there is some type of delay with this person. I'm gonna clarify, okay. And that's because, okay, so you, someone was out in the cold here. This person was out in the cold. And that's why um, this, either this person, um, yeah, you left this person out in the cold. They felt left out in the cold in this relationship. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles, please. Let's see why they felt left out in the cold. Why did they feel left out in the cold? Now, some of you guys may have had a third-party relationship here. This person wants to release themselves of feeling um, left out in the cold, feeling some type of anxiety or fear. They want some type of stability from you, and they do want a new beginning as well here. They're coming, they're, they, they are being presented with the Justice card. There will be a balancing here. Decisions will be made, okay? But this person definitely wants a new beginning, but there was a lot of issues here with this union where you guys may have not seen eye to eye. Just drop the stuff, you guys. You guys may have not seen eye to eye at one point in this relationship. There was a lot of... um. We didn't see a lot of conflict cards in the Celtic Cross. However, I did see 
um, with the magician and the ace of swords somebody needing to be honest and someone needing to, to speak some type of truth okay let's see what we get for the oracle message for your partner what is um Torian's partner cross watcher thinking remember the energies are reversible okay take what applies to you what is the partner thinking So the journey card is um, coming up in reverse, and then at the bottom I got hostilities. So the journey um, is saying, you know, you guys, some of you guys, again, I feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone that lives at a distance, and they want to move. They know that they have to move, either to move in with you, to give you this new beginning, or move to relocate to where you live. Um, or they can just want to get away, but the reverse of this card can indicate a delay or even a cancellation because this is delay or cancellation as well. Okay. Um, something could be standing in your way or perhaps lines of communication may get crossed. Problems with communicating here with the Ten of Cups. Okay. Or the communication could just be bad between you and this person. Um, don't let the potential changes upset you refocus your energy and be flexible enough to alter your schedule or destination as needed remember you can always create new adventures even in your present location or situation so somebody may feel like they may not be able to manifest this relationship because you live at a distance okay we also have hostilities being presented so with hostilities there could be some right now you guys may not be seeing eye to eye Okay, and I did see the power struggle, definitely. Um, hostilities is saying, this card shows a man raising his sword in readiness to do battle. When it comes up right, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to be or have already been engaged. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional. Again, this is domestic domestic problems this is arguments okay this is fighting um or not just having misunderstandings um so the aggressive energies may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical demanding or hurtful okay in a work or social situation there may be backstabbing or out and out um or out in out slander going on this is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent, more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time, but whatever this is, new or old energy, now is the time to regain control. Okay, so this is in alignment of what I was saying. Now is the time to regain control. Allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. Again, with the King of Wands, the, <laughs> the fears is not having the courage to stand up for yourself. Okay? I just shuffled, got happy family. Um, the happy family is showing up because there needs to be a balancing within a family structure. Okay? Um, but there is some type of attachment. Okay, um, to old energies, old habits, old ways of thinking. Um, in order to open this door to romance, that there, there needs to be justice here. Okay, there needs to be fairness. Okay, let me clarify some more with the door to romance for you guys. Yeah, see. Once you guys reach that balance, that equilibrium, there you go. Healthy relationship. So that is your reading, Taurians. That was a beautiful reading for you guys. Um, I love you guys. Um, let me see if you guys. Um, and thank you so much for watching. 
please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.